Michael Kojoashin, born December 3, 1982, is a Ghanaian former professional footballer who played as a midfielder and is currently a member of Danish Superliga club Nords Jelen's coaching staff. He was also capped for the Ghana national team more than 50 times. During his prime, Eshin was considered one of the best midfielders in the world. Eshin was known not only for his defensive ability, but also his knack for scoring long-range goals. Eshin started his career playing for Liberty Professionals in Ghana. In 2000, he moved to France to join Bastia, where he would spend three seasons and appear in over 60 matches before joining League One title holders Lyon in 2003. At Lyon, Eshin won back-to-back -back league titles in 2003-04 and 2004-05 and won League One Player of the Year in 2005. In 2005, Eshin signed with Premier League side Chelsea for a £24.4 million transfer fee and, at the time of his signing, was the most expensive African footballer in history. At Chelsea, Eshin helped the club win the Premier League in 2006 and 2010, as well as three FA Cups and one League Cup. He won the UEFA Champions League in 2011-12, while also placing as runner-up in the 2007-08 UEFA Champions League. He has won the Chelsea Goal of the Season Award twice, in the 2006-07 and 2008-09 seasons. Eshin is a former Ghanaian international. At youth level, he represented his country at the 1999 FIFA U-17 World Championship and 2001 FIFA World Youth Championship, with the latter team finishing as runner-up. Eshin made his senior team debut in January 2002 and has represented his nation at three Africa Cup of Nations tournaments. Eshin has also represented Ghana at the 2006 and 2014 FIFA World Cups. Early life born in Accra to ABA Giando and James Eshin, Eshin attended Gamoa Nyanyano DC Primary and JSS. He began his football career after graduating from St. Augustine's College in Cape Coast, playing at a local club called Liberty Professionals. Eshin broke through when he played in the 1999 FIFA U-17 World Championship in New Zealand, European scouts began to take notice, and Eshin had a trial at Manchester United in April 2000. He played in the club's under-17 team's defeat to Derby County. Manchester United offered him a contract, but he was ineligible to obtain a work permit in the United Kingdom. He, therefore, considered joining Belgian feeder club Royal Antwerp until he was eligible to move to England. However, his mother meanwhile preferred a move to France instead. Club career Bastia in July 2000, Eshin was signed by Division I club Bastia and made his debut for the club on September 30, 2000 in a league match against Metz, appearing as a substitute for captain Laurent Casanova. Eshin did not immediately command a consistent place in the team, being deployed in various positions in the back four. He ultimately finished the 2001 campaign with only 13 league appearances and one goal, which came in the return leg against Metz in a 3-2 defeat. The following season, Eshin was given an opportunity by manager Robert Nuzaret to play in central midfield and flourished in this new role. Eshin formed midfield partnerships with Nicolas Deux and Cyril Ginchamp and scored vital goals in victories over Nantes, Loria and Gwingamp. On January 12, 2002, Eshin scored the equalizing goal against Marseille at the State Velodrome to even the match at 2-2, he also scored a goal in the Coupe de la Ligue against Le Mans. Future Chelsea teammate Didier Drogba converted a goal for Le Mans in the match. In the 2002-03 season, Eshin developed into an undisputed starter under new manager Gerard Gilly. However, his tenacious and physical style of play also began to take form as he received 12 yellow cards in league play. He opened the new campaign by scoring on his season debut against Lens in a 1-1 draw and converted five more league goals, which included one in a 2-0 victory over the defending champions Lyon. Following the campaign, in which Bastia finished mid-table for the third consecutive season, Eshin drew interest from Paris Saint-Germain, Lyon and Marseille. Lyon Paris Saint-Germain made Bastia the highest offer and it was accepted, however, Eshin rejected PSG's contract offer, instead of agreeing to terms with the two-time defending champions Lyon, who paid Bastia 7.8 million euros for the transfer. Upon his arrival, Eshin was assigned the number 4 shirt and played as a box-to-box -box midfielder, 
which allowed him the freedom to protect and assist playmaker Junin Ho while defensive midfielders Edmilson and Mohamedou Daira assisted the defense and directed the distribution. Eshin made his club debut in the team's 2003 Trophy to Champions match against Oser on July 27, 2003. In just the fifth minute of play, Eshin scored his first goal for the club, and four minutes later, Daira scored a goal. Lyon won the match 2-1, giving Eshin his first club honor as a player. In just the third match of the campaign, Eshin scored his first league goal for the club in a 3-1 victory over Monaco. He featured regularly for the rest of the campaign, making 33 more league appearances and scoring two more goals, against Bordeaux and Rennes respectively. On May 23, 2004, Lyons sealed their third consecutive league title by defeating Lille 3-0 at the Stade Gerland. Eshin appeared as a substitute in the match. In the UEFA Champions League, Eshin appeared in eight of the ten matches Lyon contested and the club was ultimately eliminated by eventual champions, Porto. In his final season at Lyon, Eshin appeared in all but one league match as Lyon were crowned champions for the fourth straight season. The match he missed was as a result of a red card endured in the previous league match. Eshin also scored three goals and collected 11 yellow cards, tied for second worst in the league. His performances in the league resulted in him being voted the 2005 Player of the Year by France's National Union of Professional Footballers, UNFP. Eshin also helped Lyon to reach the quarterfinals of the 2004 05 UEFA Champions League, where he put in dynamic performances and scored five goals in the tournament. Lyon was eventually eliminated from the tournament in a penalty shootout against PSV. At the end of the season, he was named League One Player of the Year. His honor started a record streak of UNFP Player of the Year awards for Lyon players, with the streak coming to an end in 2008 following Karim Benzema's victory. He was also nominated for the 2005 FIFA World Player of the Year award. He placed 22nd in 2005. His acclaim drew attention from Chelsea, which he eventually signed for. Chelsea Eshin playing for Chelsea in 2006 on August 14, 2005, Lyon and Chelsea agreed a £24.4 million fee for Eshin, ending one of the longest-running transfer sagas. At the time, the fee made Eshin Chelsea's most expensive signing of all time, surpassing the £24 million Chelsea paid for Didier Drogba the previous summer. The transfer went through on 19 August. The transfer came under scrutiny in the Stevens Inquiry report, which expressed concerns because of the lack of cooperation from agents Pini Zahavi and Barry Silkman. Eshin made his debut as a second-half substitute against Arsenal on August 21, 2005, wearing the number 5 on his shirt. The match ended in a 1-0 victory to Chelsea, he made an assist in his full debut against West Bromwich Albion, and he replaced the injured Claude Makelele in the defensive midfield role against Sunderland in the 2-0 win on September 10, 2005. He soon cemented his place in Jose Mourinho's side, starting in 31 domestic league matches, as well as 11 appearances in other cup competitions. On December 15, 2005, Eshin was given a two-match ban by UEFA for a controversial tackle on Dietmar Hammond, which resulted in his suspension from Chelsea's Champions League second-round tie with eventual European champions Barcelona. Eshin apologized to Hammond for the challenge, stating that while he desires to be perceived as a player who unsettles opponents, he was not a malicious or an unsporting player, Hammond publicly accepted Eshin's apology. In January 2006, Eshin was himself stretchered off the field after a challenge from West Ham United captain Nigel Rio Coker and was sidelined for three weeks. Eshin warming up before a game in 2008 Eshin scored his first goal for Chelsea from a low cross from Sean Wright Phillips on March 11, 2006, in a 2-1 victory over Tottenham Hotspur. His second goal came on April 17, 2006, against Everton with a powerful strike after an assertive burst through the defensive line. Eshin ended his maiden season in England with two goals, both in the Premier League. Eshin was nominated for the 2006 FIFA World Player of the Year Award on October 12, 2006, where he placed 22nd. One week later, he was nominated for the 2006 Ballon d'Or.
He was voted as the third best African footballer of the year in 2006, a feat he also achieved in 2005. He won the 2006 BBC African Footballer of the Year Award. The following season, Eshin scored several important goals, including his first Champions League goal for Chelsea in a 2-0 victory over Werder Bremen on September 12, 2006. Later in the competition, Eshin scored a late winner in the quarterfinal second leg against Valencia at the Mestalla Stadium to send Chelsea through to the semifinals with a 2-1 victory on the night and a 3-2 win on aggregate. It was his first match back in the team after several weeks out with a knee injury. Eshin also scored a stunning late equalizer at home against Arsenal on December 10, 2006, as the match was going to end Chelsea's long unbeaten run. On May 15, 2007, Chelsea fans voted Eshin as Chelsea Player of the Year for his contributions in the 2006-07 season, becoming the first African to receive the honor. His late dramatic equalizing goal against Arsenal was also voted as Chelsea Goal of the Season for 2006-07. On August 12, 2007, Eshin scored the winner with his first goal of the 2007-08 Premier League campaign as Chelsea defeated Birmingham City to set an English record for unbeaten league matches at home, eclipsing Liverpool's previous top-flight record of 63 sets between 1978 and 1981. On October 10, 2007, Eshin was nominated for the prestigious 2007 FIFA World Player of the Year Award for the third consecutive year and on October 21, 2007, he was also nominated for the 2007 Ballon d'Or Award. For the third consecutive year, he was voted 15th best player in the world at the 2007 FIFA World Player of the Year Awards. On December 12, 2007, he was nominated for the 2007 African Footballer of the Year, the third consecutive time he had been nominated. He was runner-up to that year's winner, Frederick Canute. On July 22, 2008, Eshin signed a new five-year deal with Chelsea, keeping him at the club until 2013. He also extended his contract on 12 March 2007. Eshin playing for Chelsea in 2010 It was feared Eshin would miss the 2008-09 Premier League season after sustaining anterior cruciate ligament damage on September 5 while playing for Ghana. However, on March 7, 2009, he came on as a substitute in the second half of the FA Cup match against Coventry City. In his second match back from the knee injury, Eshin scored just before halftime to give Chelsea a vital away goal against Juventus in the Champions League first knockout round. Chelsea went on the draw of the match 2-2 and threw to the quarterfinals 3-2 on aggregate. He made his first league start from injury against Manchester City, scoring the only goal in the match. On May 6, 2009, Eshin scored a left-footed volley in the second leg of the Champions League semi-final against Barcelona, a tie that Chelsea ultimately lost due to the away goal rule. The goal was later voted as Chelsea's goal of the season by the club's fans. In the 2009-10 Premier League season, Eshin put in an excellent performance against Blackburn Rovers on October 24, 2009 and scored his first goal of the season with a swerving 35-yard shot on 52 minutes in a 5-0 victory at Stamford Bridge. He scored his first brace for Chelsea against Wolverhampton Wanderers with a header and a low shot from outside the box and came close to completing his first hat-trick for the club with a flurry of second-half shots, one of which was tipped onto the bar by Wolves goalkeeper Wayne Hennessy. Eshin was injured on international duty during the 2010 African Nations Cup and missed the remainder of the English domestic season. On June 4, 2010, he signed a two-year extension to his existing contract which would have kept him at the club until 2015. Eshin returned to action on July 17, 2010 in a friendly against Crystal Palace and scored the only goal of the match to give Chelsea the win. After missing the 2010 FIFA World Cup through injury, Eshin had a bright start to the season for Chelsea. He scored the only goal in a preseason friendly win against Crystal Palace and was an ever present in Chelsea's unbeaten month of August. He scored a brace against West Ham United, and he scored against MK Zelina in the UEFA Champions League. Eshin also put in impressive performances against Marseille, Blackburn Rovers, and Fulham the latter a match in which he scored the only goal and received a red card. 
However, Eshin would again incur an injury and miss two months of the season, during which Chelsea won just one out of nine matches. He returned to score in the penalty shootout loss in the FA Cup against Everton but ultimately had a poor second half of the season. After Chelsea's final match, the Ghana Football Association announced Eshin had returned to the international squad. In preseason training for the 2011-12 Premier League season, Eshin ruptured his anterior cruciate ligament and meniscus, undergoing surgery on July 11, 2011. His recovery was said to take up to six months, however, he began training lightly in late November 2011 and made his comeback on January 9, 2012, playing 75 minutes of the reserve's 3-2 defeat to West Bromwich Albion, he made his 150th Premier League appearance for Chelsea as a substitute in a 1-0 win over Sunderland. On January 21, 2012, Eshin featured as late substitute in Chelsea's 0-0 draw with Norwich City at Carrow Road. Due to missing most of the beginning half of the 2011-12 Premier League season, Eshin was unable to gain favor with manager Andre Villas-Boas. On February 21, 2012, during a Champions League match against Napoli, Villas-Boas left Frank Lampard, Eshin and Ashley Cole on the substitutes bench. Chelsea lost 3-1 and the club's technical director asked for an explanation of the team selection on behalf of Chelsea owner Roman Abramovich. On March 4, 2012, following a 1-0 league defeat against West Brom which left Chelsea three points adrift of Arsenal in the battle for fourth place in the Premier League, Villas-Boas' employment was terminated by Chelsea, with assistant manager Roberto Di Matteo being appointed as caretaker manager on an interim basis until the end of the season. Di Matteo immediately showed favor towards veteran Chelsea players like Eshin, Lampard and John Terry. Subsequently, Eshin started in Chelsea's second-leg Champions League fixture against Napoli, with Chelsea winning 4-1 and 5-4 on aggregate in an entertaining match allowing Chelsea to advance to the quarter-final, where they met Benfica. Eshin subsequently remained an unused substitute in Chelsea's Champions League run, culminating in the Blues' victory over Bayern Munich in the final, making Chelsea the first London-based club to win the title. Real Madrid, loan, Eshin playing for Real Madrid in 2013 on August 31, 2012, Eshin signed a season-long loan deal with Real Madrid, reuniting him with his former manager at Chelsea, Jose Mourinho. At his introductory press conference with Real Madrid, Mourinho affectionately referred to Eshin as his son while Eshin referred to Mourinho as his daddy. On November 3, Eshin scored his first goal for Real Madrid. During the last match of the season, and Eshin's last game as a Madrid player, Eshin scored his second goal for Madrid, which he dedicated to Mourinho. AC Milan Eshin signed for Italian club AC Milan on a one-and-a-half-year contract on 27 January 2014, Panathinaikos on June 2, 2015, Eshin signed a two-year contract with Greek club Panathinaikos, the deal made him the club's highest-paid player, with an annual salary of Euro 800-000. He spent the first three months of the season recovering from a leg injury. He was due to make his debut on November 21. 2015 against Panathinaikos arch-rivals Olympiakos, but the match was cancelled. He played his first match one week later. On January 24, 2016, he scored his first goal for Panathinaikos in a 2-0 away league win over Levodiakos. After a season in Greece, Eshin was omitted from Panathinaikos' squad for the 2016-17 season, with the expectation he would be released from his contract. His termination by the club was confirmed almost three months later after the two parties reached a mutual agreement over his release. After the agreement was reached and Eshin was released from his contract, the club failed to remit the money owed to him and Eshin appealed to the competent court for football affairs in Greece, which ordered Panathinaikos to pay him the outstanding sum of about €36,000 or face the deduction of three points in the coming 2018-19 competition. Persib Banding Eshin rejected an offer from Australian A-League club Melbourne Victory in September 2016. On March 13, 2017, Eshin joined the Indonesian club side Persib Bandung, signing a one-year contract with an option to extend for an additional year. 
He took the number 5 shirt for the 2017 Liga 1 season, the same number he wore during his nine years at Chelsea. Speaking about his move to Indonesia, Eshin told the club's official website, I hope I am the prelude to other world players moving to Indonesia. On April 22, he scored his first goal from the header in a 2-2 draw over PSTNI. On March 17, 2018, Persib's club chief executive, Zainuri Hasim said that Persib has released Eshin because the club has already filled their maximum quota of foreign players based on the PSSI's regulation, so bail on March 16, 2019, Eshin signed a one-and-a-half-year contract with Sabale FK of the Azerbaijan Premier League, which will also see him coach their U19 team, international career Eshin tackling. Makoto Hasebi of Japan in a friendly match in 2009 Eshin's international career started with the Ghana Under-17 national team, the Black Starlets when he played in the 1999 FIFA U-17 World Championship in New Zealand and won the bronze medal. In 2001, despite being one of the youngest players in the tournament, Eshin participated in the 2001 FIFA World Youth Championship with the Black Satellites in Argentina, where the nation finished runners-up to Argentina. His exceptional performances captured the attention of many and was widely tipped to be one of Africa's next rising stars. Eshin made his competitive senior debut in the 2002 Africa Cup of Nations against Morocco on 21 January 2002, but had played for Ghana in a pre-tournament friendly against Egypt on 4 January 2002. On May 16, 2006, Eshin was selected to be part of the team that represented Ghana at the 2006 FIFA World Cup in Germany. He played in midfield with team captain Stephen Appiah and Sully Montari. Eshin played in Ghana's 2-0 defeat to Italy, their 2-0 victory over the Czech Republic, and the 2-1 victory over the United States, and helped Ghana become the only African team to reach the second round of the 2006 World Cup. However, he was suspended for Ghana's second round match against Brazil and could only watch as Ghana lost 3-0. Upon the team's return to Ghana, Eshin said the team had gained invaluable experience and would be aiming to make the next finals, held in Africa for the first time in the tournament's history at the 2010 World Cup. In the 2008 Africa Cup of Nations, Eshin turned in another strong performance, driving the team to the semi-finals with his power-packed performances. In the quarterfinal against Nigeria, when team captain John Menso was dismissed on the stroke of the hour for a professional foul on Nigeria's Peter Odemwini, Eshin assumed the captaincy for the remainder of the match as Ghana eventually won 2-1. He was voted as an all-star player during the tournament. The team of the tournament was decided by the technical study group, TSG, after careful observations of all the tournament's matches, during an international match played against Libya on September 5, 2008, Eshin ruptured his anterior cruciate ligament playing for Ghana in the World Cup qualification stage and was out of action for six months, missing the majority of the 2008-09 season, before returning on March 4 to play for Chelsea Reserves against Aston Villa Reserves. He scored the last goal in the 4-3 loss. He still managed to take part in 10 of Ghana's 11 qualification matches, amassing more than 800 minutes of game time as Ghana finished at the top of their group to seal qualification to the 2010 World Cup. However, it was announced on May 27, 2010 that Eshin would miss the World Cup after he was told he would not fully recover from his knee injury until the end of July, more than two weeks after the tournament was to end. Since then, Eshin has announced that he will be standing down from the Ghana national side for the near future to focus on his career with Chelsea, having suffered two significant injuries while playing for Ghana in recent years. Having recovered from those injuries, Eshin subsequently promised his availability to his nation very soon. Eshin returned to Ghana's squad in August 2013 for the team's final 2014 World Cup qualifiers. He appeared as a second-half substitute in a 2-1 defeat of Zambia as the Black Stars secured qualification to the final. Round, he started in both playoff matches against Egypt and was named in Ghana's squad for the tournament finals. He made one appearance, coming on as a second half substitute in the opening 2 1 defeat to the United States. In July 2018, Eshin has announced his retirement from international football after over 12 years of active service with Ghana. He said that he even retired before the 2014 FIFA World Cup, but he was called back by former Ghana coach James Kwesi Appiah to come and help the team. 
coaching career Nordsjælland on August 19, 2020 it was revealed that Eschen was training with Danish Superliga club Nordsjælland, where he also got the opportunity to be part of the work around the Superliga team and several of the club's academy teams, just as he got a better knowledge of the teaching and development of young people off the field in FCN, as inspiration for his ongoing coaching education, Nordsjælland is in partnership with Right to Dream Academy in Ghana. However, the club confirmed on September 9, 2020, that they had affiliated with Eshin as part of the club's coaching team for the 2020-21 season. He would thus be part of the coaching team in an assistant role at the same time, participating in the training sessions to implement the exercises in the best possible way and able to contribute with new input to the coaching team's evaluations. Style of play Eshin was a physically strong midfielder, who often played in a central midfield role. He was often touted as a box-to-box -box midfielder for his ability to exert energy in supporting both offensive and defensive play, and for his powerful and tough tackling playing style, which has earned him the nickname the Bison Dog. Eshin can also play as a defender, both on the right of defense and in the center. In addition to his work rate, physicality, and defensive skills, Eshin also possessed good technique, vision, tactical intelligence, and leadership qualities, and was a powerful striker of the ball from distance.